Facebook fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's still Friday the 12th of August and uh, the New York Times uh, hard level game wasn't too much of a challenge today. If you haven't played it yet, um, I will give you a bit of advance notice that it's fairly straightforward. And so um, I've got plenty of energy left and definitely going to attempt the third game today. And so that's going to be the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. And let's see if it puts up more of a, uh, a fight than the, uh, Los uh, than the New York Times today. Okay, I'll jump straight into it, shall I? I won't bore you with any chit chat. Let's just say that the eights are blocking in this kind of pattern here. And that's the first number that I've spotted. It may or may not have been the first number that you spotted. But anyway, it's done now. Looking at those eights gives me a nice pattern because look, we see the eights blocking across like this. You know, I, I, I spotted that, so that means that we're limited to the uh, left and middle column here. So down here, we know we're only looking at these, the right-hand column, and then we have one blocking eight here as well. So actually, that's that's the way that I spot patterns like that. Um, that's an eight to go there. It's interesting how we see these uh, Sudoku patterns, I think. Uh, I don't think we all see them in the same way. I think it, some of it depends on how much experience you have, how much experience you have with the game, but also maybe how you learn to play the game. And I think many of us are self-taught and uh, we develop our own kind of ideas about playing it. Um, Okay, we have a four blocking up here and a four blocking across there, so we can place a four in that square. And now we can say four going up, like so, it gives us a four there. Um, I think I've got something. I think what we have here is four, five, six, and eight. Am I right? Four, five, six, and eight. Four, five, six, eight. Yes. And this square here is blocked by four, five, and six, and so therefore has to be an eight. Okay, we've got eight blocking up here and across these two rows for an eight there. better deselect to stop you staring at it and thinking that's what I'm looking at. Okay, our seven blocks back in this direction, uh, which gives us a seven in one of these two squares for sure, so blocking across there so that has to be our seven. Six blocks this square here, so that's our six. Then the two is the last number to complete that block. Uh, missing numbers over here are one, 
two and six. Um, but that's not usable at the moment. Anyway, that's what they are, one, two and six. Over here, five, six, and seven. We have a blocking five here, blocking seven. Ah, six across there. There we go. Six in there, five blocking down here. So that's our five. The seven goes there. Missing digits uh, here are four and five. Okay, four and five. Can't tell those yet. Um, three missing numbers here are. Three, eight, nine, and would you believe it? Eight and nine happen to be in the same column, so that's going to give us a three just there, and that's nice because that's going to give us another three when we block upwards towards the top. This six blocks both of these two squares here. So this square down here has to be a six. And I can get a three here because when you notice three blocks across here and down here, you will see that three is in this square or this square, which will block across here, three blocking across here, and then the three down here. Oh, sorry, three there. Did I say it was going to appear there? I was wrong. I meant it's going to appear there. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we have three up this column, this column, and across this row. There's a three there. The last number for this column now uh, is a five. Um, let me investigate the missing digits down here. Uh, we are lacking a 1 and a 2. How about that? That's nice, isn't it? Because clearly we can see the 1 and 2 uh, block this square. So whatever else, 1 and 2 must be in these two squares here. And the other digit will be there. The other digit is in fact a 6. So now we have 6 blocking across here and across here and 6 down. So that's a 6 there, six up here, across here, down there, and across the middle. So a six in that square. And we just have this block in the top right that we need to finish off the sixes with. There we go, six is now out of the way.
Uh, right, I've been looking um, and looking and looking, but I think I've been looking in the wrong place. Let me adjust. Ah, this nine I think is going to be helpful, isn't it? Uh, nine blocking across here, so nine is in one of those squares. Nine blocking down, blocking down here. Is it going to be useful? Oh, maybe not. Nine in those two squares. Oh no, we've already got a nine here, so no. Uh, not so useful then. Nine like this. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, right, actually I could just do this, 9 blocks here and 9 blocks this square and 9 blocks this square. So that has to be a 9, doesn't it? Okay, great. So now there's just one missing number for this row, which I think is an 8. And then the 8's blocking down like so. There's the 8, there's the 8, there's the 0808. If you know what that is. <laughs> um, it's a drum machine. Um... Uh, let's look at this again. I've forgotten now. Um, so this is four and five, right? Four and five here, and this is one and two. Four, five, one, two. Okay, I'm just going to reiterate these. This is 1 and 2, right? 3s uh, appear in those squares. 4, okay. 5 appear in those squares there. 7, unfortunately, can be can still be anywhere, can't it? 7 is the proper number, I guess, today. And... 9 has to be here now. It's not 1 or 2, it's not 3, it's not 5, 6. Oh, it could be 7. Okay, so five or so. I thought I'd found a single here. I thought, oh, I think I've found a single five here, but actually uh, it's a five or seven. Now that I look more closely.
Yeah, seven is the number giving me uh, some hassle here today. Uh, up here, this two blocks this square, so twos are here. Do we know anything else about twos? Twos go in those squares. Mm, well, here we don't really. Uh, threes are there. Two, three, what else do we need? Nines are over here, and then sevens are not there. Seven. Not there. Hey, what's going on? Sevens are there. I need to look at this. Um, down here. All right, what's going on with the ones? Where are ones possible? Ones are possible like this. What's going on with the twos in this sheet? Twos are here. Twos are here. And twos are anywhere up there. Fours are mm. no, five still, um, excuse my weird mousing. Fives are still possible anywhere down here, unfortunately. Sevens, I think. That's just sevens. Seven is my the number that I'm most annoyed about. One that I can't get to grips with. Um, nines are up there. What's going on down here? We are still missing one, two, and we know this is a pair of one or two over here, but one or two could also appear here. <coughs> one, two, five, seven. One, one, two, five, seven. Hmm, I'm not getting it.
I haven't spotted um, the patterns that I need to see to be able to do anything wonderful and so at this stage I guess to uh, avoid uh, an outrageously long game it must be time for me to uh, fill in the old pencil marks All right, okay. <laughs> I'm really having a last ditch attempt there to try and finish it off. I don't manage it. Okay, uh, so let's do the pencil marks then. So this is uh, four and five, isn't it? And this is one and two. And uh, a lot of stuff here is already um, worked out and in pairs as well. Quite a lot of stuff already, actually. Nines are down here, and uh, nines are in those squares. And so nines are down here, and finally nines go up there as well. Ones go in this location, and this is one and two, isn't it? Threes are here and here, aren't they? Worked that out a long time ago. Fours. Um, four blocks across here, so we actually have a pair of fours in those squares as candidates. A pair of fives down here, a pair of fives over here, a pair of fives up there. Six is done, sevens. In you go, sevens. Eights are done, nines are all in. So we've put in the uh, possibilities of pairs and um, Yes, that's as far as we can take it like that um, I've kind of seen more than this um, but anyway let's uh, fill in the rest of the digits to uh, finish off I have a, this is I'm not sure where we're going to get the answers but anyway it's pretty easy to do this shoot as we've got a lot of candidates here already as well so we just do here and then here uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, done. Seven blocks across here, so we have seven in those squares. Eight and nine are done. Down here, one, two, three is done. Four blocks across here, so we have four in those squares. Five, we have six, we have seven. Do we know anything about seven? I don't believe so. So sevens are like that, and eight and nine are done. Any help uh, from this column? No. And it's kind of as expected. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to get anything out of this lot either, but when we connect them up, hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, right, two blocks up here, so two is in one of those squares there. Um, anything else I can do on two? Uh, no, not yet. Um, right, three, four, five, six, done. Seven blocks across here like that, so we can put seven into those squares. Eight and nine are done. And down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, done. Seven blocks down here, so we put seven into those squares. And eight and nine are done. Okay, that's it. Nope.
can't get anything from that shoot either now when we connect these up across here or these up across here that's where we're going to find the answers i guess or maybe it will be down this um, block here this is done of course right so what do we need we've got one blocking across here like this so we have one in those squares we have two blocking across the same middle row so we have two where the ones are where the wild ones are uh, three we've got already four blocks across here like this and so as i think i said earlier fours appear in any of those squares uh, what do we know about five um, do we know anything for sure about five i don't think we do so five can go anywhere six seven eight nine done and so let's have a look across this horizontal shoot first of all got something i think four five seven nine that's four numbers in four squares isn't it four five seven nine so that means that this four and five will be removed and it will be a pair of one and two here now so now we've got ourselves a one and two unique rectangle Ta -da! one two one two one two down here so this has to be a five because if it were either one or two we would have uniqueness which is not to be allowed in a valid sudoku so that's our five and that's really going to solve the game i guess seven now we'll go here getting rid of all of those candidate sevens and placing a two up there and a four there and back down here for a five and we know that this can't be five so our five will be there seven is in that square now nine must be here and now we have our nine this will be a four with a nine there backwards and forwards not too tough is it uh, this five and seven cannot exist we just have our one and two along here now um, now one and two here but I see three numbers that can't be right that's because we don't need a five now so that must be a four and that must be a seven uh, one digit left for this row which is a three and that puts a three into that square there and leaves us with a seven there this then must be a seven the last number here is a one one blocking across here one blocking across here that will be a one this then must be a two and a one there and a two there and a one there uh, last number for this row we don't yet have a nine i think so that must be our nine and that's going to give us a nine up here and uh we have yep five blocking across here so that's a five indeed uh, we have five blocking up here as well so that's five and that's four four blocking up here puts a four into that square the last number we need here is a two giving us a one here and a two there and just one number to go up here we've got nine already to finish off the la times that's a two and so uh, that one forced me into candidates so a bit harder than the new york times uh, i think and that's uh, as i said i think it's, i think it's been like that for a, certainly a week or two the la times has pushed past the New York Times in level of difficulty for their hardest level puzzle. It doesn't matter what they're called. LA Times is called expert, New York Times is called hard, but they're generally on a par. Or generally the New York Times is a bit harder than the LA Times. But I think um, uh, recently the LA Times has uh, just been slightly more difficult. That's it anyway. Thank you very much. And uh, oh, it's the weekend, right? But we've I feel like it's been Saturday all day today and Saturday, another Saturday is coming up tomorrow. Bye-bye.